Well, the G20 summit in Brisbane has concluded like it began, in controversy. Yesterday, a young Indigenous mob up in Musgrave Park burnt the Australian flag and effigies of Noel Pearson, Warren Mundine and Marcia Langton. I'm here today at the World Park Congress where I've talked to mob around the country about what they think of the burning of the Australian flag and the effigies. Is it disrespectful and has it taken away from the issues that people were marching for at the G20 summit? Well, I think the burning of the Australian flag doesn't do any, any favours to us as Aboriginal people. We scrutinise enough as it is. Um, and I think it's just a political stunt for certain people to be recognised. But if we were talking about being recognised as Aboriginal people, we should be united as one and fight in the same course. Oh, I think it's uh, a little bit irresponsible and, you know, for adults to be acting in that manner is a little bit childish and they don't carry any respect uh, within themselves or for the people that they represent. And I think it was a, a, a you know, disastrous decision for uh, them to, to, to burn any, any flags. And it's just silly because they wouldn't do it to our flag, so that doesn't give us the right to do it to their flag. I don't think that's a good opportunity because from, like from other people from other state, things that um, could be racist against Aboriginal people. Didn't see yourself burning a flag so, on the Mary River? No. No, we don't do that in our country, no. I think um, as a community, as a mob of people, we've got to stand together and we've got to have a clear message about each uh, uh, and respect each other for it. So, um, I don't know, I think the, the flag burn, I, I think it polarises our communities uh, with, and we need to gather, gather support. Strategy is really important for us. Um, you know, well, we all know that uh, the Union Jack, Union Jack didn't represent thousands of years of our people. But I think we've got to be smart about the fights we pick. We can, let's, let's be strategic and, um, you know, the more we pull together, even though it's hard, you've got to all uh, respect and a belief of we're all going in the same direction. Um, we're not all always going to agree. One of the weaknesses of us at the moment is we're too easy to pull each other down and not push. I think um, there's a lot of people, things that, you know, people don't agree with what I say and there's a lot of things that I don't agree with other people say. But as a people, um, I'm going to be loyal to them and um, maybe we can talk to them with respect and approach each other because that simple level of engagement is about you know communities communities and we, we can't be out of touch with each other so we're gonna we're gonna push it because kathy freeman at the olympic games carried two flags around the auditorium on an international basis and that brought a lot of australians together and it was such a proud moment but to burn the flag personally my opinion is i don't think it's right to burn any flag yeah, if, the, if, if it was a uh, white fella burnt the uh, Aboriginal flag, everyone will, will, will applaud him and, and the government would clap him. But if it was an Aboriginal person who burnt the, the uh, English flag, then they'd have the riot squad sitting for that man to arrest him. <laughs> because he's a black fella. <laughs> so you've heard from the mob around the country. You can jump onto our NITV News Facebook page and make a comment. We'd love to hear from you. One has to ask the question, in Aboriginal Australia today, with the sovereignty debate up against the constitutional recognition debate, can Aboriginal Australia work together as one? I'm Danny Tees Johnson for NITV News.